Hello and welcome to the second introductory video for this course. In this video I just wanted to give you a little preview of what you're going to cover because when you first see the playlist you're going to see a lot of videos and probably wonder exactly what you're going to end up doing and whether you should even do it. So you'll start off on the course by making yourself an account with Oanda and the first thing you're going to learn is some of the code like you can see on the screen here. You're going to learn to start collecting candles from the Oanda API so you can collect for all sorts of different currency pairs uh, historical data which you can then use for your simulations and backtesting. Once you've done this data collection, we'll move on to actually having a look at a strategy, which will be the moving average cross strategy. As you can see on the screen here, we'll start developing some code to have a look at all sorts of different moving average crosses, how many trades we might make for a given currency pair over some time, and whether we make a gain or a loss. We'll then write that up into a simulation and show that how we can run the simulation and then for a load of different currency pairs have a look at all sorts of moving average co uh, cross combinations and how we might then write the data to uh, Excel in this case to be able to analyze the results further. Once you've looked at a simple system, we'll move on to a more complicated one from Baby Pips, this inside bar momentum strategy, which involves sort of different buy signals, stop losses and take profits and things. We'll code that strategy up inside Python and then we'll run a big simulation also on this strategy on different candle granularities and things to see how effective a more complicated uh, strategy actually is. Once we've got the strategies done, we'll start looking at how we might go about making some candle patterns using Python from the data. And we'll also learn how to go about making nice pretty graphs using Plotly of our candles so we can identify the different uh, candle patterns to build trading strategies. And once we've done the candle patterns, we'll then move into looking at creating some of the more popular indicators such as the Bollinger Bands and the MACD pattern as well. So you can understand how to use Python to build up uh, various indicators or indeed even your own indicators. Once you've done that, you'll build a live web-based dashboard where for a given set of currencies, you can see some red and green indicators for the latest candles that have occurred. And here we've got some example candle patterns and signals as well. And along with that, you'll be able to click on a pair and actually load the live prices in that particular moment or deployed on a, a nice web dash. Once that's complete, we move on to the meat of the course, which is actually building up a bot. So we're able to load prices, we're able to build web dashboards, and now we're ready to build a trading bot, the code of which you can see here, along with a load of other code on the left hand side. And here we learn how to get a bot that's able to analyze candles as they come. It's able to log the information. It's able then to log its trading decisions. So we can see an example from the video here where we were making trading decisions and opening and closing trades. Also a technicals log where we can log all the technical decisions and also load different settings for different pair trading as well for the bot to be able to use. And finally, we'll take this bot and then deploy it so it runs in an automated manner on a cloud service, which is DigitalOcean. So there you go, then that's a quick preview of all the things that you'll learn on this course. So hopefully you understand why it's uh, 70 odd videos long. Along the way, it's a quite a steep learning curve, especially if you're new to programming, but I think it's very rewarding. And most of all, I think it's going to be very, very eye-opening for you. So hopefully you enjoy it. Comments and criticisms, of course, are always welcome.